What's up guys, this is Richard from Clash with RLF and I'm going to bring you two attacks from our Town Hall 9 against Town Hall 9 and our Castle Warrior um, Clan War which we still have 7 hours and 11 minutes left I think. Um, we have a pretty good chance of winning but uh, who knows, you never know what's going to happen in the last 7 hours. So I was going to start out with Devs who is um, one of our lower Town Hall attacking a base and he's good he is really a logo wee attacker um, I know I've shown this before but it wasn't attack it was a base that was attacked by several of our other um, clansmen and they weren't able to clear it so he does bring wall breakers to break in and he has one jump spell because he's gonna have to try to get to the center um, he still has two wall breakers but I guess um, he hasn't used it yet and he's going to drop a jump so his most of his clan can go to the core. The dragon's going to be easily dispelled by the witches there. And the golems tank the double the giant bomb. And so his main force is going to the center. So the main thing with this is he's going to try to clear most of the air defenses, especially the higher level ones. And towards the bottom, it's not as important because they're pretty low level and he does have max so they're going to be able to take care of it even if they're not but his archer queen he still hasn't popped the ability but it's only a level 10 and so you know teslas are pretty deadly to archer queens even at even when you're a town hall 9 attacking the lower um, base so he's going to have to pop the ability expo is latching onto it there's no more now it's latching onto the golem which is good so he's able to take down that air defense but not the last one so then he stops. He starts to drop the balloons and twosies. And fortunately, his archer queen is attached herself to the expo and is able to get rid of the expo. Um, and now I think the bombs are going to be there, but he still has eight balloons left. I think he should start dropping them, and yes, he does. Um, and the golem is actually going to take out the last air defense, which is awesome. So now it's pretty easy. The air sweeper is faced the wrong way for this um, to cause any damage. And so, and while the wizard was, gives you lots of splash damage attacking the golem, um, you want to drop the balloons. So nothing is really attacking the balloons anymore. And this is an easy three star for him. He has three, four, five, six, seven balloons left. Um, and a golem that's pretty much not has not even sprung out golemite so it's an easy cleanup and it was actually a cleanup base for him he is our number 25 attacking number 22 so for us that's pretty impressive he's really become really good with the logo wipe which is something that i used to use when i was in town hall 9 as well the second one was i was going to show is mosif who hasn't done this for a long time and I just wanted to show you this because it is a ring or a resource base for a Town Hall 9 and resource ring base in Town Hall 9s don't work as well and this one's going to show you how why so he's going to do a go lava so he drops two golems and a max golem from the clan castle clears out the area like any attack he's saving one wizard and then he's dropping his archer queen uh, I personally like to drop the king first, but it's all right. Um, it's going to the center, and this doesn't have to go to the core because he has three um, lava hounds. The basic thing here is he's trying to get rid of the air defenses. Unfortunately, that mat, the higher level air defense is going to go down. The golem is not able to get it, but the golemite is causing enough damage. The archer queen and the king is able to get rid of the other air defense their archer queen is down and with the poison most of the lava pumps are down and he's gonna have to use the queen's royal cloak ability and he's gonna start the attack now so he drops the two um, lava hounds and it's good to do it separated because you want to um, 
get all the air mines, the seeking air mines popped. And he uses a rage. And then he's going to drop his second um, Lava Hound. And he probably didn't need to do that because now one of the Lava Hound pops. I would have saved it for the third air defense. But it really doesn't matter because a three star is three star. And so he still has a rage left. And he was probably going to rage close to the um, air defense right there. Um, I may have raised it closer to the expo, but like I said, it really doesn't matter. When you get a three star, um, I don't think the strategies matters as much. He has so many balloons, so many power, and he has lots of um, lava pups to help clean up the attack that, and he still has a wizard in his CC. I don't even know if he remembers that he has that there because he hasn't begun to use it for the cleanup, and now he does, he drops it on the side. And with that many balloons left, the town hall is going to go down quickly and the lava pups are going to clear up the entire base. So we'll just speed it up. And here's another awesome attack by Mosif and Dez. So he uses two golems, but one golem is max in his clan castle. Um, three rage, one jump, one poison, and 16 balloons and three lava hounds. And you would think that the 16 balloons would not be enough, but with a resource ring base, you can demolish so much of the defensive structures that I don't think the resource ring base works for a Town Hall Knight. And as you can see, it was easily three stars. So let me know what you think of these attacks and if you guys like any of these techniques or if you'd like to see more of a certain type of attack, and I'll try to get it to you guys. And as always, thanks for